Take them between the legs and lean forward out of the hips. Check that between your feet is the same distance as between your thighs. So we want to have that hips distance apart. Lining up your middle toe with your heel. And then that should form a really nice straight line from the middle toe all the way through the knee and up to the hip joint. Then let's sit up nice and tall with the tailbone going down, the, crown, uh, the breastbone going up crown of the head towards the ceiling, imagining you have a tennis ball or an orange between your chin and your chest. That's about the distance that you'd like your chin to sit. Taking your hands to your lap, you can have them up or you can have them down. Let's roll the shoulders forward, back and up and back and down, setting them into the spine. Close the eyes if you like now and let's come into this moment. Finding your way from the external world into what's happening inside you and checking in with how you're feeling right now. Just becoming an observer, noticing. Are there any flickers of movement? Are there any sensations going on? How do your toes feel? knees. How does your throat feel? Just checking in with how your body is feeling in this moment. And then letting your attention rest on your breath. And noticing where the breath is sitting in the body today. How does it feel? Is it short and shallow, sitting up at the top of your chest? Or is it deep and full, reaching out to all the corners of your lungs, the front, the back, the sides? Maybe it's so deep that it reaches down into your belly, into the sides of your waist, your lower back. You do find it a little shallow and short. Start to gently allow the breath to flow deeper, fuller, and each breath inhaling deeply and exhaling deeply. Notice how you feel now, focusing on that breath. Conscious breathing often gives us a chance to find a little peace within no matter what's going on around us. When you focus on your breath, it's pretty hard to think about anything else. It's like a little mini getaway. Going on a holiday within. Notice that sense of calm and stillness that comes over you. Take our breath down to our feet. Lift up your toes and press the bottoms of your feet into the floor. Feel the energy from the earth coming up through the legs and all the way up your spine, reaching out to the crown of your head. Notice when you ground your feet down how much steadier you feel. This is our full expression of sitting mountain. Here we can affirm together, I am the mountain. I am strong, stable, solid, and secure. I am the mountain. I am strong, stable, solid, and secure. Relax your toes now. 
gently open your eyes. Come back into the room. Let's take an inhale breath and squeeze our shoulder blades together. As you exhale, let them float apart, a little rounding through that upper back. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And exhale, rounding a little through that upper back. Inhale, squeeze together. And exhale to round. Then let's slide the shoulder blades up towards the ears as you inhale. And exhale, let them slide down your back. If you want to here, you can take a little open mouth side, letting everything out. Inhaling up. Let it go. Inhale again. That's nice, doesn't it? Just a side out. Last one. Nice. Now take your hands to your lower back. Let's tilt the pelvis back so that we come onto the front of our sit bones and the middle fingers point towards the back of the chair. Then find length in your spine by taking your breastbone up towards the ceiling. Maybe look up to where the roof meets the wall. We call that the seam. Squeeze the shoulders back. Elbows come closer together. Breathe deeply into that beautiful open heart space, that beautiful open rib space that you've created. And as you exhale, let's reverse that stretch by tucking our tailbone under, come onto the back of your sit bones, bring your hands out from underneath your bottom and come to the front, rounding the spine out. Find some length all the way from the base of the skull down to the tailbone. Belly button moving in towards the spine and breathing into the back body here. All the way down your spine. Now when you inhale, leave your hands where they are. Scoop the heart forward and up, looking maybe towards the seam again where the roof meets the wall or a little bit lower if you like. And then exhale, tailbone first. Scoop the belly in and roll the spine up. And inhale, leave the tailbone again. Find that length. And exhale. Take a couple more of these in your own time. Elbows hugging the roof. finish your round to start to make some rounds by moving in circles from one side to the front to the other side to the back. Just keeping those feet grounded, keeping a steadiness, a mindfulness as we move, making those circles as big or as small as you move. Finish this next circle. Let's change direction again. If you're feeling cold, this is a beautiful way to heat the body up by getting that root chakra activated, that grounding, that warmth in the core as well. You'll notice when we stop that you feel a little warmer after this exercise. You'll finish, just come back to the center once more. Sit nice and tall on the chair. Breathe into that heat. As you exhale, ground the feet and turn from the waist towards the left side. Maybe that right hand finds the outside of your left knee. And maybe that left hand goes to the back of the chair. Inhaling tall, exhaling twist. Keep pressing through the balls of your feet to keep the knees steady. Inhale, another beautiful breath here. As you exhale, to see if you can lengthen or twist a little more without forcing, use the breath. And then inhale to come back to the front. Let's exhale to go to the other side now. So tall spine, ground the legs. Keep that two fist distance between the legs at all times. So we don't let those knees kind of flop around and move into a space that's not safe for them. One more breath. Exhale the air out. And then come 
back as you inhale, center. Bend the elbows, hi, how are you? And come forward, down over the legs, lengthening the heart forward, long neck looking down just below, maybe over the top of your toes. Can you draw your shoulders back a little more towards the hips? Can you squeeze your elbows in a little more towards your waist? Can you press strongly into your feet? And your next inhale, let's rise up, seated once. From here, bring your hands out. Let's take our arms up to shoulder height as we inhale and exhale to fold down. Inhale, come up to shoulder height. And as you're lifting, think about lifting from the outside edge of your shoulder rather than from the top of your shoulder because we don't want to start the movement there because then we end up with shoulders as earrings, which you don't really want, do we? They're not very pretty, are they? So keep the shoulders relaxed down as you lift those arms. They might move a little bit, but we start from the outside. And as you're lifting, you're trying to reach out as long as you can towards each wall and flexing the hands, and then letting those fingers spread apart. Inhaling up, and exhaling down. In. And exhale, last one. Then as you inhale, take the hands up and flip the palms over. Let's bring our hands to touch wherever they touch for you. It might be here, it might be here, or it might be up a little bit higher. So see where you feel good. Bend your elbows and let the elbows go backwards. Beautiful work. Can you lengthen your tailbone a bit more? Can you let the breath flow into the side ribs? Can you let the breath flow into the belly? Don't think too hard. <laughs> and then exhale, let the arms flow down. Nice work. Oh, that felt nice. Good for the shoulders, really opens the chest up. So now let's take a stretch to our side. So let's um, bring our right hand up to our shoulder or if it feels all right, you could float it all the way up to the ceiling. Let the left leg go, uh, left arm go down by the left leg, reaching up and down at the same time. So we're keeping lots of height, but we're also taking a little side bend. Let your right hip move back down towards the seat, creating a beautiful length from fingertips to toes. Take one breath here into that side body. Let it all out. And as you inhale, press through your feet to come back up. And as you exhale, let's float over to the other side, taking your hand level position wherever feels good for you. Drawing that left hip back down towards the seat now. Grounding strongly into your feet. Another big breath into the side body. Let all that air out. And then start to float back up and bring the hands back down. Take a breath in here. Bring your hands up to touch wherever they touch for you and draw the hands to the heart center. Inhale, take the hands back up. When you get here this time, interlace your fingers so you make a little L shape with your thumb and forefinger. And let's take a stretch over towards the left. Come back to center as you inhale and exhale towards the right. Inhale, center, exhale. Draw back that opposite hip. So you're keeping grounded through your sit bones and they're not lifting off side to side. Come back to center, draw the hands back down. Take the hands up, make a little round shape with your index finger and your thumb. Spread the other fingers up nice and wide. Open your legs up to a wide mountain leg. Come into the goddess pose. If you'd like to lean forward a bit into your legs to make a stronger leg, feel free. Be tall, proud, glorious goddesses. I know you don't have to try very hard, so you're already there. Right, Kate? <laughs> Good. 
And now let's come back up, extend those arms out to the side. Now actually if you feel like you'd like to, you put them down on the chair, maybe we'll start here. Take your feet up, let's spread the toes out, good. Turn those legs around so you open the hips so the feet go sort of towards the back of the room and the toes are pulling back towards your face. Then if you'd like to extend your arms out, beautiful, reach the fingertips out. Shall we sing it? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. I'm terrified the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Guess what pose this is? Twinkle, little star. Twinkle, little star pose. <laughs> Five-pointed star. <laughs> Let's bring our hands down, turn the toes to the front. See, when you're holding it and singing at the same time, it doesn't feel like you're holding it that long, does it? No. Trying to think of the words. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so bring your hands to your heart centre now. Let's take a big breath in. As you exhale, fold forward over the legs. Now your elbows might stop on top of your thighs, or you might get them down on the insides of your thighs, letting the hands move away from the heart, but thumbs pointing towards the heart. If they are on the inside of your thighs, feel that connection. Elbow against thigh, thigh against elbow, hands against hand. Feel how strong that feels when you use your own body to support yourself. Can you wiggle your toes here? Hello toes. <laughs> Take one more breath here. Let all the air out. And as you inhale, press through those legs and come all the way up. Bring the hands back to the heart centre. Nice work. Let's bring our feet up, heels up. Start to walk yourself back into sitting mountain and then start to turn around so that you're facing the right. Let the fleshy part of your body, I mean not fleshy part, hang off the chair. <laughs> it's all muscles, I'm telling Too you. Too much flesh. <laughs> it's all muscles. <laughs> Now we're going to walk our left leg back towards the center, coming into either V-shaped leg or L-shaped leg. Or if you feel comfortable too, you could let that leg come behind you and have the toes, the ball of the foot on the ground and heel pressing back. It's better if your knee's not hanging in space, so if that doesn't feel nice, just come back to your L-shaped leg, yeah? Then let's raise our arms up towards the ceiling, coming into our warrior pose. Lift the heart, soften the shoulders. Look up to where the roof meets the wall and wiggle your right toes. <laughs> Just the right. Do you feel strong in your legs? One more breath while we're here in our warrior. And let's bring the hands down. Take your interlace with your fingers and place those hands onto that right thigh. Lead with the heart. We're going to bend the elbows down and come out over our right leg. Long spine. Can you get taller? Can you get longer? If it feels okay and you want to take it up a notch, lengthen maybe one hand forward or maybe both. Ooh, now we're talking. Press strongly into that front leg. Either bring your hands back to your thigh or lift up with the hands reaching back into our warrior. Oh yeah. Let the hands come down. If your leg is back, switch it back to L-shaped leg. And then start to walk back around into our sitting mountain. Ooh. Who said chair yoga is easy? <laughs> All right, high heels on again. Let's walk around now to the left side. Let the bottom hang off the chair just a little bit. And then start to open up your right leg into either V, L, or back into a straight leg position. Need more space there? I think you'll do the other leg now, so facing me. Because <laughs> we did the other side before. So just mirror, mirror what I'm doing. 
Can I just ask? Um, no. Sorry. That one. All right. Okay. Raise your arms up to the ceiling now. Come into your warrior. Check in with that left foot or right foot, the one that's at the front of you. Make sure they're grounded into the floor, steady and strong. Good alignment. And then interlace those fingers, maybe change which one's in the front, and place them on top of that thigh, leading out, bending the elbows, strong through the back leg, long through the spine, maybe a little bit of that um, cow stretch, you know, where we sort of arch back. See if you can maybe get that a little bit. And if you want to, one arm can go forward, or two arms, see how you feel today. Keep breathing. Uh oh If you can't breathe properly, back it off. And then on your inhale, hands can come back to the thigh or they can lift all the way up. And then we bring them back down and gently draw in that right leg again. Put the high heels on and come back around to the front. Find your sitting mountain. Check in with how you're feeling. Check in maybe with your alignment. Good. If I do say so myself. <laughs> All right, lift up nice and tall in your body. Bring your hands behind you. Take your fingertips to your chest. Make like a little claw with your hands and press the breastbone away from the hips. Draw the shoulders back and down and look up again to where the roof meets the floor. Find your drishti, your focus point. Press down into your feet. Tailbone long, lots of space in our spine. And then slowly release that. Nice. Let's take this right leg out to the side. That one. <laughs> Turn the toes towards the front of the room and make sure that pinky toe side of your foot is down on the floor. Now, going to raise up our left arm and spider crawl our right hand down our leg. Can you make this muscle here nice and strong? Even if your knee is bent, still a strong muscle is very important. No fat there. No fat at all. No. Just muscles. Just muscle. We got no fat anywhere. What are you talking about? <laughs> Zero percent. <laughs> a little bit of fat is good though, right? Good fats. <laughs> Take one more big breath here. And then releasing that. Let's walk this foot back in and take it out in front of us now. Raise up your right hand instead. Walk your left hand to the top of your knee. Now, I saw something happen there, which I'm not happy about. <laughs> so, when you lean, remember when you bend like this, rounding the spine, we're cutting off the air supply, yeah? So we don't want to be in slump asana. We get up nice and tall, come out from the hips. So reach forward as far as you can. Try not to change the, the shape of your shoulders, but then bring your hand down to wherever it goes for you, making contact on your legs somewhere. Can you wiggle those left toes? If you can, reach that um, big toe. Wrap your peace fingers around the big toe. Give it a little squeeze. But don't force it. Remember, if the breath starts to suffer, the body starts to slump or the shoulders start to twist, come back a little bit, back it off. Most important thing, two important things really in our bodies is our breath and our spine. Without those, we don't have much chance. <laughs> Not to be dismal, but you need to look after both of those things. Now, as you inhale, press strongly up and bring the hand down. Bring the foot back into sitting mountain. Ground the right leg down and take the left leg out to the side. Reach the right arm up towards the ceiling, strong left leg, and walk down towards the ankle. Ground this foot into the floor. That's now, can you get your body sort of straight so you're not twisting forward or back, but up nice and tall? Now, is this leg creeping out to the side? Bring back in your right, right knee a little bit. Press through the ball of that foot. One more breath. Oh, and then release that. <laughs> 
and then walk that foot in, let's take it out to the front, lift up tall through your left hand, remember what I was saying, lean out with the hips, from the hips, with the body, and then keep that length in your spine, bring your hand down to wherever it meets for you, don't worry what anyone else is doing because everybody is different. Thank goodness. <laughs> It'd be boring if we were all the same, wouldn't it? That's good. <laughs> Take one more breath. And then press as you inhale. Come all the way up. Nice work. Bringing those feet and knees together now. Let's squeeze the thighs together here. That's it. No, just kidding. <laughs> Lock your right leg down in place. Lift up your left leg. And gently cross that over the right. Squeeze the thighs together. Don't move your left leg in, but keep it out in good alignment. So let's try that again. Take the foot off. Bring them together. Good. Now just pick up the left foot and cross it over. <coughs> that actually takes a bit of concentration, doesn't it? Because our habit is to just go like this, but then our legs are all out of alignment. So it takes a bit of concentration to pick it up and then just put it over. Ah, oh, there you go. Now, if that feels good, just stay here. If you want to lift that leg up and over, see if that feels all right. If it doesn't feel all right, it doesn't matter. You can still do this down here. And actually today, I think I'm gonna stay here. Squeeze the thighs together wherever you are and make sure that this right leg has not lost its alignment yet. When you squeeze the thighs together, feel how much stronger you feel straight away. You let that go, floppy, 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 yeah? So switch it on. <laughs> Lengthen the spine. Let's take right arm on top of left, cross at the elbows or, wait, that's your wrist. Cross at the wrist or the elbows <laughs> or wrap your arms around into a little love hug or wrap your arms around until they come together in front of you. See which level feels good for you and then stay there. If you're in this one with the hands touching, let the elbows lift up. Hands come away from the body. Another breath in here. As you exhale, release and let go. Gently unhook that leg. Feet back together. Now they should still feel like they're in the right spot because we didn't move that other leg, did we? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Plant that left leg down and gently pick the right leg up and place it over. Three mm. move, left leg. <laughs> it's like you've got to send a little message saying, stay still, stay still. If you want to pick that one up, come up and over. But I'm going to stay down here and squeeze the thighs together wherever you are. Now, <coughs> right arm on the bottom, wrists, elbows, shoulders, and hands, if you want. Lift the arms up, extend the hands away from the face if you can. If you're giving yourself a love hug, relax your shoulders, let them hang down, and say, I love you. I saw okay. <laughs> you bloody amazing. <laughs> One more breath. And then slowly release those arms. Feel that beautiful blood flow into the chest and shoulders. Feels nice. Let's unhook the leg. Bring the hands to the back of the chair and take the legs out in front of you if you like. Lengthen that spine. Let's make use of that beautiful space we've created in our shoulders. Lengthen it. Slowly release that. Bring the feet back in to the center. Take the outside edges of the feet and try to touch them together. Soles of the feet together. Let the knees gently fall out to the sides. Sit up tall in the chair. Maybe you want to try a little core here while you're here by bringing one or both hands up to the shoulders. Or maybe one hand out and the other hand out. Then can you relax your bottom and your knees? Ooh. <laughs> can you feel when you relax the bottom and the knees that the core starts working a bit more? Take one more 